So what is the key to happiness? First is the understanding that remember whatever you want in life. Whatever you are pursuing in life, any desire that you want to fulfill, there is going to be a price that you have to pay. Nothing is free. Except my discourses. But well, you have to pay in time, of course. And they are very expensive for me. I have to spend so much of my time on you guys. But nothing is free. You want to enjoy that burger? Sure. There's a price to be paid with your health. Your tummy will look a little more out, It'll be protruding a little more. It will start to live its own life. You want to lead your own life, eat whatever you want, your tummy will leave its own, lead its own life. So you want to eat a burger, you want to eat junk food, you want to eat those delicious french fries, and a very nice cold coffee or normal coffee, whatever. Go ahead. But there is a price to be paid. Benjamin Franklin, if you have not heard about him, then I recommend you Google him. And because why would I glorify, sit here and glorify a person of the past, who in fact said something as ridiculous as, always fall in love with middle-aged women, he said. <laughs> they will give you great attention, he said. That was his view now. But he did say something quite nice as well. And that was, when he was a child, he bought a whistle once. And he was prancing about, really enjoying uh, playing that whistle. And then he found out that the price he paid for that whistle was four times as much. And all the joy went away. I'm sure you must have experienced something similar when you buy something, you're very happy about it, and immediately, and if you feel you paid much more than you should have, that joy disappears. For example, let's say you buy a car, and you paid 50 lakhs for it, and then you, the next, very next day you discover that the government has introduced a new tax law. Now the same car would cost 35 lakhs. Get, I guarantee you, every time you will sit in that car, you will curse yourself. <laughs> Why did I have to buy this? That joy will disappear. It's the same car. You paid willingly for it, whatever you paid. But the moment you discovered that actually you paid more than you should have, that joy goes away. So Benjamin Franklin used to say that you've paid too much for your whistle. So whenever you want to see any of your desires fulfilled, ask yourself, this is a price, is this worth the price? This is what it's going to cost me, is it worth it? If deep in your heart you say it's worth it, go ahead. If it isn't, the grapes are sour and move away. But the key to happiness, A, is the understanding. So if a key had two parts, this is the first part. Second, believe me, um, really, if this is one, this one quality, this one virtue, this one attribute, you could make a part of your life most days you will be very happy, other days you will be ecstatic. And it's very simple. <laughs> Should I build it up a bit more? It's called being flexible. Whatever it is that gives you grief behind it is perhaps a feeling of rigidity. The more rigid you are about what you think, 
is right or wrong, good or bad, or the what you deserve or don't deserve, the more rigid you are, the more in grief you will be. And the more you will mess up your life. So when life throws something at us, you must have seen that movie, The Matrix, right? You see how, I mean, I saw it, I think, whenever it came 20 years ago or something, the, this guy dodges bullets. Imagine if he was very rigid. Bullet comes, hit. How can he dodge a bullet? He's so flexible. He's like a rubber doll. He's just bending backwards, right, left, whatever, and he's able to dodge those bullets. The blades of grass never get chopped in the storms. It's the rigidly uptight standing trees. You've got to be upright, not uptight. Because if you're uptight, the outcome is fight. <laughs> and the slightest of slight, you will fight. That is the outcome of being uptight. And you live in great fright. <laughs> the whole... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>